Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Clutch Master and Slave Cylinder Replacement, a step-by-step -step guide. Ever had that frustrating moment when your car's clutch pedal feels spongy or refuses to engage smoothly? That could point to a problem with the clutch master or slave cylinder. These crucial components work together to transfer the force from your foot to the clutch system, allowing you to change gears. When they fail, it's not just an annoyance, it can sideline your vehicle altogether. In this video, you'll learn what these cylinders are, why they fail, and how to replace them to get your car back on the road. Understanding the Clutch Master Cylinder The Clutch Master Cylinder is a vital component in your vehicle's hydraulic clutch system. It ensures that you can smoothly change gears by transferring the force from your foot to the clutch mechanism. What is a Clutch Master Cylinder? The clutch master cylinder is part of the hydraulic system in manual transmission vehicles. When you press the clutch pedal, it pushes fluid from the master cylinder to the clutch slave cylinder. This action disengages the clutch, allowing you to shift gears. In simpler terms, it's like a pump that helps you operate the clutch with ease. Common symptoms of a failing clutch master cylinder. Is your clutch pedal feeling off? If the clutch master cylinder starts to fail, you'll likely notice several common symptoms. One, Soft clutch pedal. If the pedal feels spongy or softer than usual, it might mean there's air in the hydraulic system or a leak. 2. Fluid leaks. Check under the car or around the clutch pedal for any signs of leaking fluid. This usually indicates that the seals inside the master cylinder are failing. 3. Difficulty changing gears. If you find it hard to shift gears, the hydraulic pressure might not be sufficient due to a failing master cylinder. Causes of clutch master cylinder failure. Several factors can lead to the failure of the clutch master cylinder. Understanding these can help you maintain your vehicle better, wear and tear. Over time, the seals and internal components can degrade, leading to a loss of hydraulic pressure. Fluid contamination. Dirt, debris, or water in the hydraulic fluid can cause corrosion and damage to the master cylinder. Manufacturing defects. Though rare, manufacturing issues can also be a cause. If a component wasn't made to specification, it might fail prematurely. By keeping an eye out for these symptoms and understanding the common causes of failure, you can better maintain your clutch system and avoid unexpected breakdowns. Understanding the Clutch Slave Cylinder The Clutch Slave Cylinder is another key part of your vehicle's hydraulic clutch system. Just like the Clutch Master Cylinder, it plays a crucial role in helping you shift gears smoothly. What is a Clutch Slave Cylinder? The Clutch Slave Cylinder works alongside the Clutch Master Cylinder to make gear shifting possible. When you press the clutch pedal, the master cylinder sends hydraulic fluid to the slave cylinder. The slave cylinder then pushes on the clutch fork or release bearing, disengaging the clutch. Think of it as the other half of a team that helps you change gears with ease. Common symptoms of a failing clutch slave cylinder. If the clutch slave cylinder starts to wear out, you'll notice some clear signs. Here are a few symptoms you should watch for. 1. Clutch pedal stays on the floor. If the pedal doesn't come back up after you press it, the slave cylinder might be stuck. 2. Fluid leaks. Check for hydraulic fluid under your car or near the transmission. Leaking fluid usually means the slave cylinder is failing. 3. Abnormal noises. If you hear grinding or squealing sounds when you press the clutch pedal, it could be a sign of a problem with the slave cylinder. Causes of clutch slave cylinder failure. Several issues can lead to the failure of the clutch slave cylinder. Addressing these can help you avoid bigger problems down the road. Hydraulic fluid leaks. Leaks are often caused by worn seals or cracks in the cylinder. This results in a loss of hydraulic pressure and makes it hard to shift gears. Internal seal failure. Over time, the seals inside the slave cylinder can degrade, leading to fluid leaks and loss of pressure. Physical damage. Any damage to the cylinder, whether from road debris or wear and tear, can cause it to fail. Even a small crack can lead to significant problems. By understanding these symptoms and causes, you can keep an eye on your clutch system's health and fix issues before they become major headaches. This knowledge will help you keep your vehicle running smoothly and avoid unexpected breakdowns. Diagnosing Clutch Master and Slave Cylinder Issues When your clutch system begins to show signs of trouble, diagnosing the problem early can save you from costly repairs and headaches down the road. Here's how you can identify issues with both the Clutch Master Cylinder and Slave Cylinder through visual inspections and functional tests. Visual Inspection To start diagnosing clutch problems, a simple visual inspection can provide valuable clues. Here's how to do it. 1. Check for leaks. 
Look under your car and around the clutch pedal for any signs of hydraulic fluid. If you see fluid, it usually indicates a leak, which could be from either the master or slave cylinder. 2. Inspect the fluid level. Open the hood and locate the clutch master cylinder reservoir. Ensure the fluid level is between the min and max marks. Low fluid levels can indicate a leak or excessive fluid consumption. 3. Examine components. Look for any visible damage to the clutch master cylinder, slave cylinder, and connecting lines. Cracks, wear, and corrosion are red flags. Pay special attention to rubber seals and gaskets, as they are prone to wear and tear. By following these steps, you can often pinpoint the source of the issue without needing any special tools. Functional tests. Visual inspections are great, but sometimes you need to go a step further. Performing functional tests can help confirm your findings and give you a clearer picture. 1. Pedal feel test. Press the clutch pedal. Gently press the clutch pedal and note how it feels. If it's spongy or soft, there may be air in the hydraulic lines or an issue with the master cylinder. Release the pedal. If the pedal doesn't return to its original position or sticks to the floor, there could be a problem with the slave cylinder. 2. Fluid pressure test. Pump the pedal. Quickly press and release the clutch pedal several times. Then, press it down and hold. If the pedal sinks slowly, there might be a leak in the system. Observe fluid movement. Have a second person watch the fluid reservoir while you press the pedal. If fluid moves excessively or bubbles appear, air might be trapped in the system, indicating a leak or faulty component. Using these functional tests, you can gather more specific information about your clutch system's health. These signs can help you determine whether it's time to replace either the clutch master cylinder, the slave cylinder, or both. Taking the time to inspect and test your clutch system not only saves you money but also ensures your vehicle runs smoothly. Stay proactive and keep an eye out for the signs mentioned above to avoid unexpected breakdowns. Steps to replace a clutch master cylinder. Replacing a clutch master cylinder might seem daunting, but it's quite manageable with the right tools, preparation, and a step-by-step -step approach. Let's walk through the process to get your clutch system back in top shape. Required tools and materials. Before you start, you'll need a few tools and materials. Having everything on hand will make the job smoother. Wrenches and sockets usually a set of metric wrenches. Screwdrivers, both flathead and Phillips. Pliers, needle nose and regular. Brake fluid. Make sure it's the type specified in your vehicle's manual. Bleeder kit, to remove any air bubbles from the system. Rags and gloves, for safety and cleanliness. Replacement clutch master cylinder. Ensure it fits your specific make and model. Safety glasses, to protect your eyes from fluid and debris. Drain pan to catch any old fluid. In part 2, we'll show you how to install the new clutch master and slave cylinder. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.